guys, what's up? It's Andrea and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by again, genuinely. Like, I'm really happy that you guys like not only my slime videos, but the other videos that I do as well. It makes me really happy. Today, we're going to be doing something that I am a little bit scared, a little bit excited to do. We're going to we're gonna see what happens. I think it's going to be good. Something might, like, explode. Hopefully not. So today what I wanted to do is a little bit of a DIY. I'm going to make a DIY video on this. It's actually a legit serious video later. But today I wanted to have a little bit of fun. So we are going to be, you know, um, turning all of the things in my bathroom into shower jellies. I'm going to be taking all of the things out of my shower. Shampoo, conditioner, shaving cream. I don't know if we have any shaving cream right now. I think we're out. Toothpaste. All the things in my bathroom, I'm going to bring them out and we're going to see if they shower jelly. So it's a little bit of a DIY, a little bit of a testing video. But that's what we're doing today. Are you excited? Are you hoping that something goes horribly wrong and that you can laugh at me later? Because I don't blame you. I will totally laugh at myself too. But first, before you guys go, if you like this video or you're just super excited to see what happens, definitely leave what you think is going to happen to each item down in the comments below. I really want to hear what you guys think. And if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this or you want to see the actual tutorial on how to make your own shower jellies, then definitely give this video a thumbs up. That lets me know that you like it. That lets me know that you really like what I'm doing and I am really happy when I see you guys like my videos so thank you so much for that while you're down in that general area you should definitely go ahead and subscribe if you're new around here because that would make me really happy as well I would love to have another one of you guys in our little fam we still don't have a name you guys I need help with a name do you guys want to be named do you want a specific title let me know some cool name ideas for a little a little group of people down below and you know if you want to be super extra and amazing you should definitely go ahead and turn notifications on these are a few of the people that have already put their notifications on thank you guys so much for being here and being part of the notification fam let's go make a mess of everything um one thing I'm totally gonna say just really quick because I feel like I have to address it I'm sorry about the background we had a really big slime restock last week and there is nowhere else to put that so I have a bunch of different stuff I have containers to put them in I have spoons I have hot water I did not get a container to dissolve the gelatin in though probably something I should have done well improvise I have what is this? What even are you? Body wash, but it's also apparently shampoo. Okay, so I said that I was gonna do everything in my bathroom, right? Um, I am. I can't say I'm 100% happy about it because my foundation was in my bathroom. And now it's gonna get turned to jelly. Hair gel, face wash, and then we have some conditioner and some 3D white toothpaste. Thankfully, I did not have any expensive face products in the bathroom at this time. I probably would have cried a little bit. If you guys are like Lush fanatics like I am, you'd remember that for Christmas they brought out a snowman shower jelly. That's what I have. This is our reference. This is what we're going for. This is what we want all of our things to look like. So I brought him and I'm going to compare him to the other things and hopefully we can just make everything into snowman shower jellies. That is the goal here. If it fails, you know what? Laugh about it, laugh at me, and then give me a like because I used all my gelatin for you. I'm starting to panic a little bit. It is um, clumpy. I think I'm gonna go try to micro this and I will be right back because apparently that is a thing we should have done in the first place. Oh, it feels gross too. Uh, oh, there's powder inside. Yep, that's that's that needs to get off my hand right now. 20 minutes of very, very heavy panicking and then me Googling how to fix gelatin. I think we fixed it. It's very hot. It smells really gross. But apparently this should work if we pour it into our stuff. Oh, okay, well that was a mistake. Some toothpaste. Okay, so I kind of copped out. I put a tiny, do you see, that's enough. I don't need any more foundation jelly. I would have a close-up camera, but essentially all I'm doing is mixing semi-clear liquid <laughs> into more semi-clear liquid, and that is about it. Oh! I thought that that was solid. If you just imagine what any kind of like 
alien would spit at you. That's kind of the texture I'm feeling right now and I'm not a big fan of it. I am going to clean all this up and I will see you back, hopefully at like a closer angle so you guys can see what's going on when they are all solidified. Was this a mistake? Probably. Okay, so I pulled all of the jellies out of the freezer. I actually put them in the freezer because they just weren't setting in time and I'm impatient and this is what they look like. It took about a half an hour. Some of them are better than others. This one was eh. You can see there was gelatin that I totally didn't dissolve stuck in it, but it had a nice little jiggle. Um, the conditioner, it... <sighs> There aren't enough bad things I can say about the conditioner. It didn't jelly at all. It's just kind of thicker conditioner. Then we have hair gel, which I either didn't stir in all the way or it just doesn't mesh with the gelatin because it was just like pockets of hair gel. Kind of the same thing with the toothpaste. Um, it was just mushy and squishy. I hate to disappoint you guys, but we didn't actually invent jelly toothpaste. Gonna have to find something else to market. <laughs> Um, then we have, oh, the bane of my existence, the foundation. Oh, it's so bad. The top is solid jelly, and then the bottom, the foundation didn't mix in at all. It basically is like, you know the Scylla sponges? Well, it's like a DIY Scylla sponge. Two videos in one. Please don't do this with your foundation, though. I would, I would hate myself if you ruined foundation like this. Oh my gosh, it was so bad and it kind of got everywhere. And then finally, the one that actually worked out really well was the body wash. This is how you would make your own shower jellies if you were going to make them at home with body wash and then gelatin. It was super jiggly, it was super fun. Definitely my favorite one. And since there weren't any super pretty ones, I decided to make a few more and give you guys some really cool things to look at. One thing I will say though is if you decide to make your own shower jellies, please do not put glitter that can't dissolve in them because you're going to be washing that down the drain and the dolphins and the fish are going to be really sad about that. So these ones I definitely did not use because I didn't have that kind of glitter, but they were really cool actually. I'm pretty happy with how these turned out. They jiggle, you can cut them up, and they're super satisfying. Um, and I made gigantic ones just because I could. <laughs> Ooh, and this one smelled like peach. It smells so good. And that was it for the video. Did you guys like it? I have no idea if I like it or not because I have not done it yet. If you guys liked it, like I said, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you are new or you thought this was funny or you just feel bad for me because I just turned all my toothpaste into jelly. Either way, it works. If you guys really, really want to support the channel and want to be awesome and you want a chance to be featured in my next video, definitely go ahead and turn those notifications on as well. That would be 